In Pixelmator 3.2 Sandstone, what was the healing tool or healing brush is now called the repair tool. It still has the same band-aid icon here in the tool palette. And the only way to really tell that anything has changed is here under the action menu in the tool options bar. Click and I get three repair modes, quick, standard, and advanced. Quick is for removing things like dust and blemishes. Standard is designed to remove larger items that have a clear or very plain background. Advanced is best for removing large items that have a more complex background. Let's take a look at how the repair tool works in all three modes. First, I'll use quick mode to remove this small blemish here in the balloon. Just set the brush size to a little larger than the era being repaired and click. I could also use quick mode to remove small subtle items like the balloon lines coming off the basket here. I'll click and drag over each one to get the best result. Now let's take out some larger items that are on a plain background using the standard repair mode. I'll switch to standard up in the tool options bar. Then adjust the size of the repair brush with the bracket keys. Then I just need to paint over what I want to remove, which will be this black balloon. This does a great job of removing the balloon and replacing it with the correct gradient in the sky. Let's try the same thing on this larger balloon. Remember you need to paint over the entire area that you want to remove. Unfortunately, the brush size can't be adjusted on the fly here. If I try to do that, the repair process begins automatically. The repair tool does a great job of removing that balloon as well. Now let's try removing both of these balloons using the advanced repair tool. This will be more of a challenge because the background changes from the trees and foothills to the sky behind these balloons. The repair tool does a pretty good job, other than on this section of the mountains, which I can repair using the clone stamp. I'd also probably want to go in and remove the power lines going across the image using the repair tool. Now let's look at a couple more images to see just how complex of a background Pixelmator's advanced repair tool can handle. In this image, I'd like to remove the railing here and the people standing next to it. So I'll take a pretty large brush and paint over the entire area with the railing, people, and their shadows. That actually does a surprisingly good job. It kind of extends the rock here to go across what is a ravine. And I'll probably just want to remove this tree. But overall it's done a great job of removing the railing and people. If any details don't look quite right, it's easy to go in and touch them up using a smaller repair brush.
Finally, let's push the repair tool to its breaking point by trying to remove the two fallen trees in this image. Notice how complex the background is. There are several trees that vertically pass behind the logs that we're removing, and the background changes from light to dark repeatedly. So let's see what happens when we try to remove these logs. The repair tool gives it a good shot, but it has a tough time aligning all the tree trunks that were behind the logs. Zooming in really shows the area in which the repair was attempted. So the new repair tool in Pixelmator 3.2 is a great upgrade that adds even more value to Pixelmator. There are apps that cost $10 to $20 in the App Store whose only purpose is to do repairs like this. The repair tool can remove just about any size object, as long as the background behind that object isn't too complex and detailed.